Greetings, everyone, and welcome to Baltasar Nation, the number one fan site and YouTube channel for Baltasarans. So delighted that you could join us. Today, we're going to review JSOC's new mod case for the Steam Deck. JSOC did not send me the product for review. Instead, I'm reviewing this as a consumer, and thus far, I have purchased a number of JSOC accessories for my Steam Deck, and I have been very pleased with the products. Therefore, you will get my honest evaluation, what I like and didn't like about the mod case. I will also show you how I'm using it to run Batocera on my Steam Deck, although I did have to perform a slight modification, and you will see. Are you ready to check out the mod case? Well, let's do it. All right, so I've got here the basic set already pre-installed. Its price is $29.99, and I find that price rather reasonable. I like how it fits my Steam Deck. The basic set also includes this cover, which also fits nicely in my Steam Deck. In fact, I wish I had this when I first got my Steam Deck since I've already cracked my screen, even though it's never dropped on me. With this case, your screen is less likely to crack. The bottom here is a little bit loose, but nothing to really complain about since it's still very secure and it won't come off easily. As far as I'm concerned, it is definitely a keeper. Question is, how well will all this fit inside my carrying case? We'll soon find out. Removing the front case is rather simple, and that's another plus. Along with the basic set, I also purchased the M.2 slot kit since I wanted to stop out the setter on the M.2 SSD drive. It was a bit tricky to get the strap on, but eventually I got it on. It does feel rather secure once it's fastened onto the mount case. Unfortunately though, I quickly ran into a problem. That is, the SSD cable does not fit securely inside the strap's hole. First of all, it's hard to get it in, and once in, it does feel loose and not tight. Indeed, while testing it, it came off several times. The second problem was trying to dismount the M.2 kit from the mod case, since it did not come off too easily. The third problem is if you want to use a different M.2 enclosure for your SSD drive. That is, you're forced to use one with the same height as the original M.2 kit, otherwise you won't be able to strap it in. The fourth problem arises if you decide to similarly permanently keep the M.2 kit on your Steam Deck because it won't fit inside my JSOC carrying case, let alone trying to fit the front case as well. Consequently, it was at that point I decided to look for a different and easier solution using JSOC's mod case. The first thing I did was to purchase the Velcro kit from Amazon with four accompanying strips. Thereafter, I placed one of the strips on the back of the mod case. As you can see, it fits perfectly on the mod case. From there, I place another Velcro strip on the Crucial X84 TB portable SSD drive. It also fits perfectly. I didn't even have to cut or measure anything. It just fits perfectly. And lastly, I placed the Crucial X8 right on top of the Velcro and it worked like a charm. More importantly, it is completely secure and it won't come off even with rigorous shaking. It also feels comfortable and it doesn't add that much weight to the Steam Deck. And lastly, it works extremely well with the mock case kickstand. Needless to say, I was very pleased. With this new modification, I can use SteamOS on my Steam Deck when I want to play my Steam games, and run Batocet on my Steam Deck with plenty of fast storage simply by plugging in a cable. Check this out. Let me go ahead and show you and prove to you that my Crucial X8 portable SSD drive is powering my Steam Deck with Batocera.
With this setup, Bata Seta runs smooth as butter and is quite speedy. In fact, let me go ahead and show you some gameplay on the PS2 emulator running in Bata Seta. Pretty cool. Now, my next test is whether I can fit my modification of the mod case inside my carrying case is I want a simple and quick plug and play solution. As you can see, it fits perfectly. Again, my Crucial XA portable SSD drive is still behind my Steam Deck. And finally, I now want to see if I can fit the front cover along with my Crucial XA portable SSD drive inside my carrying case. And the answer is yes, everything fits perfectly. We have a winner. Before we wrap everything up, I do need to show you a slight change I had to make on the boot section of the Steam Deck in order to make everything work just right. So let's go ahead and do that. Now then, in order to see this boot menu, you're going to have to hold down and press down the volume up button, keep it holding down, and then press the power button, okay? And eventually you're going to see this screen. And from there, you can use your D-pad to move around. And from there, I just go ahead and choose Setup Utility. Okay, that brings you to this screen right here. Go to, it says Boot, uh, select that. Uh, and then for Quick Boot, Go ahead and disable it, otherwise the Steam Deck may not see your portable SSD drive because it's booting up too quickly and it's not yet connecting to the portable drive. Uh, and I discovered this by accident. So go ahead and disable that. Uh, and then for quiet boot, go ahead and have that enabled. Uh, and then from here, at boot options, make sure you select first. This will allow you to have the portable SSD drive boot first before it does the internal drive, okay? So again, go ahead and make sure you choose first, okay? And then US boot, also go ahead and enable that. Again, that will enable the portable SSD drive to go ahead and boot from there, okay? So these are my settings. And from there, just go ahead and save it. Now to save it, go ahead and press this button right here, right? On the top left-hand side of the Steam Deck. Go ahead and press that. And then it will say exit, saving changes, choose yes. And that's it. Now then, if your Steam Deck is still booting up too fast, it's not seeing your portable SAC drive, then go ahead and hold down the volume down button and then power it up. And that will bring you up to this screen, Boot Manager. And from there, you can go ahead and choose your portable SAC drive. In this case, it's the first one, yeah? USB device Micron. Okay, select that and you're good to go in terms of loading up Batocera. So now that we've loaded up Batocera, I want to share with you an important tip on how you can extend your battery life on your Steam Deck running Batocera. So press Start on your gamepad. And then from there, go to System Settings. And from there, go to Brightness. And notice I have it there set to 25%. Uh, you'd be amazed how well everything looks at 25%. You wouldn't think it would, but it does. And in fact, I've noticed by having it set at this setting at 25% brightness, I'm able to play my high-end emulators anywhere between three and five hours. Between three and five hours. So it's done an amazing thing in terms of extending uh, the battery life. Furthermore, when you saw me playing on Steam Deck earlier, it was also already set at 25%. I've had this for several months now, and it's just wonderful in terms of extending the battery life on the Steam Deck when you're using Batocera. Love it. In fact, this should also work on all the handhelds if you saw about to set it on it. So try it out. Now then, in terms of my recommendation for the product itself, 
I have to say, you know what, if I had to do it all over again, I definitely would buy the basic set. I am pleased with the basic set. In fact, you can also find this on Amazon, and I will be providing a link in my video description. Or if I had to do it all over again, I might pick up the hubkit altogether. Uh, this includes a basic set uh, along with the uh, hubkit itself, okay? And I think this actually might be useful uh, when you're traveling out of town to have one of these. So I'm actually and I'm getting this after all. Now, in terms of the case that I have, this is the one I have, okay? It's also made by JSOC. I love it because you can fit everything in here. It's awesome. I also will be providing a link in my video description. Uh, and this is the Velcro I use in my demonstration. It's quite cheap, 647. Uh, and finally, this is the portable SSD drive that I'm using, okay? The four terabyte. You can also see here that the two terabyte is the equivalent of a fast one terabyte micro SD card. So I think this is actually a better bet, better deal, okay? But again, this fits perfectly on the mod case on my Steam Deck. Also, we'll be providing a link in my video description. Now then, the last thing I want to share with you all is this. If this is your first time watching a video from Batasar Nation and you're curious about installing Batasar on your Steam Deck, then I highly encourage you to watch our tutorial how to install Batasar on the Steam Deck. Uh, this is the most thorough tutorial you'll find on YouTube installing about to set on the Steam Deck. Plus, you also will find exclusive content you won't find anywhere else. Okay. So again, I encourage you if you want to install about to set on your Steam Deck. And I will be providing a link in my video description. So check it out. Well, that's a wrap. Again, I was rather pleased with JSOC's mod case, especially after I performed the Velcro modification. Of course, the Velcro modification will also work if you want to place a small portable battery on the Steam Deck. In either case, I'm no longer limited to running about to set on a 1TB micro SD card. Indeed, the Crucial XA portable SSD drive works like a charm, and I've been pleased with it during my two weeks of testing it. Now then, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and like it. That would really help me out with YouTube's algorithms. If this is your first time watching a video from Bata Center Nation, then I highly encourage you to check out YouTube channel as well as our website at BataCenterNation.com. That will give you a great overview of what Bata Center is all about and whether this will meet your emulating needs. Finally, I want you to know I've got a lot more videos coming up, so therefore please consider subscribing so that you'll stay on top of the latest and greatest of Bata Center. As a matter of fact, next time I will be covering another emulator that has gone through a major overhaul in Bato 35. And in fact, it has made emulation life so much easier. Which emulator am I talking about? Well, find out next time. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time about the Nation. Bye.